so um i made a mistake and this is actually from one of my classmates uh she told me everything what she hate about me she almost screamed slapped me to the point what good thing there's um there's someone who is a referee a man who's also a classmate to calm her down and she said me these things that I have mistakes and I need to improve on which is actually very great she's a very kind woman because she's very direct to the point and she's not a snake who stabs in the back she stabs you in the front and she does that because she wants me to improve so thankfully here are the uh, mistakes that I'm going to share in my mistake that you might not have even realizing to yourself because I was blinded with these mistakes and didn't even know that I was uh, struggling about this they t told me uh, multiple times that I have to observe people before I speak or say anything to observe the behavior that the people surround us even though I'm very confident I know how to deal with people with shyness or how to start a conversation I still fail to observe people and how they feel because I'm struggling to to speak I, because I didn't know what's sensitive to them what's not but the tip here is to have a sense of common sense and to think before you speak that's the thing that I need to improve because I'm continually hurting anyone without even knowing and it's continue to increase my enemy so it's very important to have a sense of discipline and the courage to improve yourself continually and not to criticize yourself because you're bad at communication you don't not understand and no as long as long as you learn from your mistake you're already making a progress I didn't even know how to learn how, how to ask questions I keep making judgment and assumption that uh, this person is this and that this person might not like, like this or that and that resulted into the conflict because I didn't know how to ask the right questions so I was not actually considerate to other people I didn't even realize that uh, considering about their feelings when I text on messenger or other communication apps especially to my friends those who are close to me I didn't even know or acknowledge their feelings or when it comes to assigning the roles I didn't ask questions like will they like this role what do would they feel if I send this message and now I'm continuously improving myself before I send the message and make sure it's friendly I make sure I would love it I make sure it's opening I make sure no one is actually going to be heard without the stress of being perfect as long as you're improving that's enough and I didn't even consider them when it comes to communication I didn't ask questions unnecessarily even if it's dumb it's important to ask questions so that you may not have any misunderstanding and confront the people poke the person as much as possible the third one is assumption and judgment so there's a big difference between the two and I have a quotation that says that it's better to assure than to assume and did you know that there's a big difference between assumption and judgment assumption is saying hmm is that person happy and then you ask question are you happy but judgment is totally a different thing judgment is ah that person is happy so that's my problem I make judgments I jump it to inclusion that this is that type of person based on what I think and not assuring that that is really that person and what they feel is I tend to have a lot of judgment maybe because of my uh, my curiosity to knowledge and I think that when I answer this it's right and it's solid and there's nothing that's going to stop me rather than assuring I was assuming I was making judgment on my own so uh, you have to avoid that mistake if you're that type of person number four is leadership and teamwork although i've read a lot of book when it comes to leadership and teamwork uh, i've learned how to communicate myself and how to lead people in the right direction mostly 
maybe 70 to 80 percent i did it the right way but there's a problem minor problem that create a big difference or create a big problem and that is not considering what other people feel also was a part of that my members and not dividing the roles equally i was actually um, eating all their roles and there's a peer evaluation where everyone will evaluate each member so the result is if I eat a lot of their work they would have very low uh, peer evaluation which lead uh, that girl or that woman to be angry because I was eating her tasks I was eating everyone's tasks and I didn't even realize that I did not equally divide the tasks or I have eaten them even if I assigned it to them so that's a big thing. The fifth one is ignorance, arrogance, and then innocence. So the simple concept that my uh, my friend told me that a per the greatest sin is ignorance, and after that ignorance will be next is the arrogance part. And after that arrogance, we tend to hide our sins to our innocence. So that's a sign of arrogance. One of my greatest sin, all of those mistakes, I realized that uh, I made the mistake. Because of ignorance, I didn't even know this is bad. I didn't even know if this is right. I didn't even know if I hurt that person feeling. I was ignorant. And then that became a sin. And then that became a major problem. And that creates enemies. So the biggest sin is ignorance. And my friend told me that what's the difference between Jesus and the people that surrounds us? And she, he said that. And the biggest difference between Jesus and humans is Jesus isn't er ignorant. Jesus isn't ignorant about things. And humans tend to be ignorant as well. One of the biggest things that you need to do is to strive for being aware that you're being ignorant in some way or trying your best every single day to improve, to lessen your ignorance in such a way. All right, the sixth one is respect and basic etiquette. So it talks about uh, learning how to respect everyone regardless of their age, their gender. 100% no discrimination. How you treat someone else is you should treat also to someone else. How you treat your teacher with that high level. Also treat your classmate with that high level. And I didn't even do that. So when I speak to boss, the respect level was high. When I speak to my classmate, the respect level was very low. So I have to adjust with that. And also, I didn't know that making nicknames, especially to those persons that doesn't uh, uh, making nicknames to those persons you are in close at, you shouldn't uh, put a nickname on them. Them. They be more likely to find it more offensive, and then to those who uh, you put nickname to somewhat close friends, but not really, you should uh, call this name nick call it the, uh, their your chosen nickname to them privately and not in public because if public the public might use that nickname to that person, which might be very offensive as well. And the next one is empathy and understanding. Understanding that everyone has a different perspective can really give you uh, a head start to make better relationship that could not be broken as well. All right, the next one is common sense and boundaries, which means we have to use our common sense to determine others, other people's limitation and boundaries as well. Especially for women, they have specific boundaries they have to set to preserve their dignity, to preserve their rights, to preserve their privacy and then they're actually considering that so whenever you're talking to a person you must know your boundaries limit the boundaries determine the boundaries by using your common sense as well so it's better to before you approach the person have a sense of awareness that you have to limit yourself by boundaries as well as everyone has boundaries the last one is basic etiquette so I have made a mistake here by not actually having a common sense or applying the basic etiquette scene. When it comes to morality, I'm not saying I did something very bad or really good, but I am saying like, um, for example, practicing again in a condominium, is it really appropriate for a self-shoeman 
who are most likely uh, criminal case happens there in women's in a woman's perspective so I didn't have that etiquette or for example showing the interviewer's name the picture or the info or meeting in a group and introducing the interview interviewer especially it's male the interviewee and then the interviewer was male and the interviewer was a female also and they didn't introduce that so I made a mistake so that's some basic etiquette that you need to consider also for you to improve for me those are my mistakes I, be, I made the big mistakes that yeah thank you for that person who were very angry at me without that without that her without that person my first time stabbing me in front I wouldn't actually improve and that um, my classmate who is a male friend who is a referee thank you also and when I got into the recollection she actually said that uh, she was that angry just fully on her emotions which is an emotional person she was also angry because she doesn't want me to be that type of person who doesn't improve himself because he knows someone who is like me almost in the future and she doesn't want to that to happen and even though John, she also is uh, made a lot of boys cry <laughs> so that's a very good uh, information for me right so my uh, my advice to you is to work on your self-improvement day by day and ask questions be considerate and have empathy and understanding to others as well and to think before you speak so that's the end of our uh, video and you can also watch this so you can improve yourself i highly suggest you can watch this because um it's very important for you to grow in your personal journey and to learn and that's it all right up